Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello. Do you know where we are? Uh, I don't know, but we're not doing the fun game again, are we? We're no, I, I made a point of saying that it was a it was a one off because it's it's a new game, right? And I'm trying to milk it a bit. Well, we're on that that mountain. Yeah. One of many that we find. Can you remember which one it's called? Stuttgart. No, it's not called Stuttgart. It's called High um, Hrothgar. Wrong one. I haven't got a clue. It's called High Hrothgar. High... Huh. I did tell you, I literally like a second ago. High Hrothgar. High Hrothgar. You could Google it if you want. and tell you how it's spelled. <laughs> but yes, we're back. We're back here in Skyrim. I was spelled how I thought it was. That's how I ran. Couldn't remember how to run. Actually, I think you'll find, sir, the mountain is not called High Hrothgar. Well, no, it's not, is it? The it's... monastery is called High Hrothgar. All right, fine, if you're going to be like that. And it sits on, at the top of the 7,000 steps to the throat of the world. Yeah. Which is the highest point in Tamriel. Indeed it is. Second go. only to... The moon! Yes. Which isn't actually in Tamriel. You know. No. But no. anyway, we're, 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 we're on a quest again. We're off to That's see our old nine. mate, Klimik. Not snow man, it's a bloody pile of rocks. Pile of rocks. rocks. We're on our, mate to, on our way to see our old mate, Klimik. Or Klimik. We've still got the fellowship. Some of them. They're following us, they're taking us. <laughs> it's fine, we'll make them. We'll, we'll, they'll come up and catch up with us. Because we'll do a little spell to I catch up. I'm just in a hurry to get, him, to get down the mountain because we've been up and down this mountain so many times. And if we're not fast travelling, the least we can do is try and make some progress with it. What time is it as well? It's 7, nearly 6 p.m. Hmm. Which isn't a bother, apart from the fact we've, we've got a lot of shit in our inventory that we could do with selling. Because we've, well, we've got a gold shortage. It doesn't look like a shortage, but it is. But also, we've not got a lot of ca carry capacity. Carrying the stuff is helpful when you're in a dungeon because what can you do with the stuff that you carry? You can drop it. Well, you can, but also sell it. Sell it. That's the big thing. You can throw it at things. Uh, not so much in this game. You can show it off to people you encounter on your way. Uh, rarely. I'm sure there's probably a, a circumstance where that can happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as it stands. As it stands, the primary reason for us to loot anything that we're not going to immediately use is so that we can sell it. <clears throat> because you need money in Skyrim. Basically, I don't think you do need money in Skyrim, but it's nice to have it. Mm. It's nice to have some money. It's faster to jump than it is to uh, run, I think I saw someone say. Yeah, but you look like a bloody fool. <laughs> Only if I watch you. Oh shit, there's a wolf. Would you like a topic? Yeah, go on then. Well, Philip Schofield's back in the news, isn't he? Yeah. He's got a new TV project. He is. It's, uh, what's it called? The Island? Or that? The Castaway. Yeah. Essentially, he's uh, playing a, well, himself. But he, he's doing the Robinson Crusoe thing. Like I or said, left the on thing from Castaway. Yeah, for, for like 10 days. Something like that. It's not hard really, is it? 10 days. He's going to have an inappropriate relationship with a far younger dodgeball or something. With face painted on it. Inappropriate um, but not illegal. Well, Just to be yeah, clear. Right. He's filming it himself. Yes. Much like the ill-advised but not illegal. What? Well, I, I, I'm just alluding to the thing that you were already talking about. I just... Well, it's still completely inappropriate. Well, yeah, no, I'm not saying it isn't. It's, it's, it's not illegal, and it's important that we make that distinction that what All he's right. done was not was not illegal. It was just wrong. Well, it would morally it would still, wrong. It would still cast a black mark on his name if he were applying for a job in an office. Having done that, if he was an office manager, wouldn't it? Well, you'd hope so. 
but actually, oh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this on this video, but I'm going to anyway. It has been suggested, and uh, it, it's been outright stated that someone wants me to dress up as Santa around Christmas time at work. Right. Okay. Now I've declined doing this because I don't want to, but and this is where it gets a bit tricky. <laughs> someone else in the office suggested that maybe we should have a female Santa. Yeah. And the first person, the one who wanted me to dress up as Santa, said, hmm, but I don't think I want to sit on any of the women's laps. Okay. The implication being she wants to sit on my lap. Right. That is that is an implication from that. I guess, I guess, yeah. I don't, I, I, you know, yeah, I'm, not, is, yeah. I'm not necessarily bothered about the fact someone wants to sit on my lap, because fine, it's a nice lap. I've got I've got thick thighs. It, it, it's There's comfy. enough of it. Exactly. But I just, I just, just this is just it's important to note that this is also a position of authority in the office, position of authority above me. Hmm. So if I end up having to have someone sit on my lap for like a job promotion or something, you, uh, you've been pre-warned now. Okay. Let me finish the quest. There we go. Thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> well, I think. I uh, read an interesting article that suggested <coughs> the, the reasons why he chose that project. Apparently, mm -hmm. it was floated that he might do um, "I'm a Celebrity," mm -hmm. and uh, it, but doing so would remove a lot of control because it was all because it would be edited and there'd be other people and he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to control their reactions to him and things like that. Yeah. Whereas if he's on this island, it's all it's all him and it's already been edited, so they know how it's it's gone, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, a very interesting article and just i'd love to learn more about this sort of pr type of stuff that's what speaks interesting it is one of those um oh man what is that oh that's handy hmm. oh, that's worth doing that is hmm. I was I was trying to find the thing that means that we can sell to is it this one? Yeah, that one. We need a bit more uh, speech. Oh, that's great. Yeah, well that's the thing because the, the, the bloke that we've just been here, we can only sell a few silly little bits to him. Imagine how useful that would be in the uh, Sea of Thieves. It would. Anywho, I don't know whether there's any more shops around here. I'll right, have a look at the map. Because we are carrying too much stuff and not able to sell anywhere near enough of it. No, it's his house. Yeah, I mean, it's a reasonable project to want to do, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's, I mean, it's, mm. if it wasn't him, I doubt it would be the news that it is. Right? Hmm. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be. He, did, I mean, he had alluded to the fact that he probably wasn't career in television had ended, but we have got to give something like that up. I think if I was him, I'd just sort of slink off somewhere and live a very quiet, to an island. solitary life. No, just like a house in the country somewhere. Where do we want to go? Where's this quest? This quest is all the way over there. We're not going to do this quest. Because it's a long way away. They're a long way away. Um, oh, Christ. What do we do then? Because every, everything's a long way away. It's going to take us ages to get there. I tell you what. Why don't we? Why don't we check out what's going on in the uh, this place over here? Uh, why we, the bloody hell not? We want to talk to this bloke back in here first, because he's got a job for us. He wants us to investigate the the, the thingy because it's I can't remember what it's called. Tell me about the barrow. Oh, it's haunted. Go investigate the place. Do you mind? Lovely stuff. So we'll go and explore it. We'll take out the bloke who's obviously pretending to be. There's a guy who's Scooby doing the place. Because of course mm. he is. What, what? Dressing up like a monster for property prices or something? Honestly, he's pretending. To, he's pretending to be a ghost. Right. I like. I wish I was joking. But there's a bloke pretending <laughs> to be a ghost. Is it very comical? Not really. He dies like a bitch as well. 
No, oh, please don't kill me. I don't want to be a real goat. He didn't say that. Does he say that? No. Okay. But he should. Hello, Legolas. Did he chop your head off? So yeah, he's he's been all spooky. Mm. Oh, there's a book here. Bit of experience on it. It's not really worth us picking it up because they don't sell us anywhere near as much as they ought to. I mean, one of these opens the other gate. I always forget which way around it is. There we go. I got that quite right. Very lovely. So yeah, we'll go and we'll explore. And one of these doors has got a thing behind it. I think this one's got a trap mm. on the other side of it. Uh, fun fact, or not so fun fact, about who? Maggie Smith. Oh. Uh, she died exactly one year after Michael Gambon did. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, really, a year ago, when Michael Gambon died. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I thought it was longer. Personally, surely not. I, I that does not feel like a year ago. Oh my God, Jordan! I know, but I thought it was longer. Yeah. How the fuck did that happen? Well, the passage of time is a curious thing. It makes one man weep and makes another man see. So that was my first... So that was after my first... My first summer was last year at this place I work. Yep. Right, okay. Okay, that's fucking bizarre. Oh, we've killed the ghosty man. Surprisingly that was normal. Astonishingly. There we go. Filter for Phantom appears spectral for 30 seconds. That's it, that's what he was using. And what's really annoying for him is do you know why he's here? Why? He thinks there's some treasure. Is there? The burial chamber must be there, blah blah blah, I need to find a claw, must be hidden, so on and so forth. Right? Mm hmm. We'll go and tell the people. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take the take the journal. We'll take it back to Matey, and Matey's mm -hmm. got the claw. Oh wait, the, the guy, the, the guy claw. that the guy that investigated for us, uh, told us to investigate it. Well, that we're investigating before. Sorry, he's got the claw. Do you know, do you know right. what's special about these claws? Can open the door. Yeah, exactly. They're the ones where we have to put the right symbols in. What? Wasn't there a thing, a tr piece of treasure that we were looking for and we thought we had it and then it turned out somebody got there before us? Where, what's that? That was the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Did we get that back? Uh, yeah, we dealt with that. That's why we went up the mountain again last time, was to hand that right. in and finish that quest off. Right. And as far as the blokes in uh, Hothgar again, those grey beard fellas that have got, funnily enough, beards of grey. Mm. They, um, they're like, yeah, you're one of us now. That's cool. Job done. They're happy. They don't, we don't need to stress any more about them. Until we meet their fifth, the fifth member of our order, Parthenax. Oh boy, then we'll have to stress. Hmm. Well, it's a lovely day outside. He's giving us a sapphire dragon claw. It was raining. No, it wasn't raining today, was it? <laughs> it was raining bad yesterday. <coughs> uh, I think so that floods on, th on Thursday it rained a good bit, I think, and maybe yesterday too. I kind of like the thunderstorm. Well. Well, I don't mind it raining if it's at night, or if I don't have to go anywhere. If it rained tomorrow, I'd be well happy. I'm not going anywhere mm. all day. I don't need to, so I'm not going to. Would you be happy or would you be relieved that it did, just didn't rain on the day you wanted it not to rain? Uh, I mean, if it rained on a day I wanted it to not rain on, I'd still get. I'd, I'd just deal with it. It doesn't bother me. It's annoying, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah, but you, would you be happy if it rained tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Why? Because because it's it's a satisfying thing being able to look outside and say I don't have to go in that. Do you not get that? Okay. No. Oh, right. Fair enough. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I don't know. I'm so ready to get caught in the rain. It seems. 
Not really. Um, where's the bloody what you call it that I'm looking for? That one. Uh, can you see what that is from there? I'm trying to sapphire dragon. No, claw. the pictures. I'm thinking it looks like a butterfly or maybe a wolf. No, butterfly, uh, owl, wolf. Yeah. Yes. Mo or moth or bat. Yeah, whatever that is. I think I think that's what we need to do. Lovely job, dude. All this time, if you'd just spoken to the innkeeper. Alright, Gandalf, do you mind? <laughs> what about personal <laughs> space? Jesus. I uh, have no concept of personal space. I have no concept of getting the fuck out of my way. Right, I'm going to switch to a bow and arrow briefly. Because I suspect there's going to be some sort of zombie like. Culturally appropriately named zombie like people in this area. Right. Uh, I think if we take this book. No. There we go. I missed. I missed him. No. I missed him again. What? I'm a shit shot. To be fair, it's a bit sluggish. Iron Axe of Cowardice. Yeah. Does that do anything? Well, it's, it it has a magical ability. If they're a low you hit them, do they run away if they get? If yeah, if they're low, if they're low enough level. Hmm. Oh hello, lads. He resisted the fear. We're we still fighting. What weapon is Gandalf using? A sword and does, a staff. Does he know magic then? Yeah, he's been doing all sorts of magic. I think it's in with as well. Cool. Right, let's open this. Bloody hell, stairs are hard work. Right, from both sides, good, good. Oh, you see that chain there? Yeah, you know that chain does. Um, does it lower a thing? For fuck's sake. Does it pull up a thing? This. Okay. Oh, it's a rancor pit. Well, it would be if it wasn't flooded. And had a rancor. Oh yeah, thought so. That's a trap. He resisted fear, but he did not resist my axe. You come in, lads. Jesus. Do you ever oh, read the um? The uh, fighting fantasy books. The what? The fighting fantasy books. They were no. like a choose your own adventure thing. No, I don't. I've, I've, I've read some, but I don't think I've read those ones. I quite like to buy the collection, to be honest, because they were pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. It's important to treat yourself. That's why I have so many video games. I don't think I'll be able to treat myself as readily as I have been. <laughs> I mean, volumes 1 to 10 on here. 79 quid. Yikes. How many volumes uh, are there? Uh, I don't know, a lot. 150. 59. Jesus. They know how to milk the money, don't they? Mm. <laughs> Did you just see what that? What just happened? No, I, I didn't. I was looking at fine. I, Do it again. I can't. I, wait, I turned around the corner and that was stood there. Waiting to attack me, and then these slicing blades came out. Huh. There you oh. go. Problem solved. Neat. Some of them you know are going to attack. And that's another trap, mm -hmm. which will set that off. So let's get around that corner before one of those fuckers sets it off by mistake. God, there's a. There's a. How much? You reckon? A what? Pokemon, what? There's a what, sorry. How much do you oh. reckon this Pokemon base set first edition booster box is? Now, this is the first booster box that came out. And this is an eBay thing. What's so the, the currency? Prob 
probably overpriced. Uh, it's in dollars. Uh, I'm gonna so benchmark. A at a, I'm gonna benchmark at a thousand. You are way too low. Okay, ten thousand. Like, it's still way too. Low. Twenty thousand. Way too low. Fifty. Higher. Oh my god, a hundred. Double it. Two hundred. You're still too low. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is on Amazon for two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on eBay, you said. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. not worth that. <laughs> no. Who the fuck is gonna? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Quarter of a million pounds. Fuck off. I wouldn't um, pay a tenner. No. no I also well, I, wouldn't I, get I it. Would. Happily. Right. I'd pay. I don't, I don't have the other stuff. Well, I, mean, I suppose I'd, I would pay a tenner, but only because I'd know that someone would buy it for more. Mm. Kipping, get out of the way. No, it's all of a talk. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's working. I feel like we need to go down that way, but it's not working. Hmm. <coughs> oh, it's one of these ones. Oh, hello. Get him, Gandalf! Catch him! Catch him, Gandalf! As if you could, Pippin. You have Pillock. What are you, Pippin? Alright then. Oh, it's one of these ones. Okay, so. This one's got a gimmick. <clears throat> Yeah. There's a thing in there. Not a mimic. No, a gimmick. There's a thing in there. There's a thing in there. Yeah. There's a thing in there and a thing in there. I need mm -hmm. to tally these ones up with it. But the trouble is, I can't see all of them at the same time. I need to step on mm. the rotatey thingy. <clears throat> so that one's a whale. It's a memory thing. Right, you can do it a bit at a time. I need to do these two now. That's a whale, and that's a. Snake. Oh, there we go. Snake. Whale. Now, if I stand on this, door opens. Voila. And because there's some blokes there, I can get with my bow and arrow. Let's try and get with a bow now. There we go, that was a good shot, wasn't it? Yeah, well done. You see that trap? How do you tell their trap? I could see the tripwire. Oh, right. Also, the other, the, the other ones that are just stones that you stand on, they, they've got a pattern on. And I've oh, played yeah. this game a lot. Mm. I know my way around this fucking game, mate. I have a question. Let me see if I can find the one that's... The one take before I do. Before you do. There you go, that's stone. You see the pattern on it? Wait a minute. Yeah. That's what they also have. So, you... so if you... is it a pressure pad or is it just... Yeah, it is, okay. Basically, yeah. And because I've played it so much, I know which ones to look out for. You just, you just get a feel for it. Anywho, your question. Uh, yeah, um, if I want to get all the, the Pokemon sets when I go to Japan at some point, I'm checking the list. Right. Are you checking it twice? Yeah, and there's duplicates. Oh, that's annoying. You have some that are holographic, and then the exact same card, but it's just rare. What? How do I do that? Do I just get the holo? Probably. I would. I wouldn't mm. get all of them because it seems a bit of a waste. Mm. Mm. It's a big old fight here going on. No! I think you're right, me old mate. I 
I, th I think I'm right as well, but I often think I'm right, and that's why I say the things that I say. So if I... Oh, hang on, I need to do... There we go, that's better. Oh, Technically geez. it's a cheat, but... What did you do? I, t I did the thing that teleports all the people into the room with me, because the door had closed and shut three of them out. Well, most of them out. Technically it's a bit cheap. That's a bit cheap, isn't it? I stand by the decision, though. Because, you know, it's not fair for me to... Normally, the one companion that made it in, would, that works normally, but I've got so many companions, it's... I, if the game isn't programmed for it, so I'm, I'm making the game work for it. I'm glad they've got that mod for... Um, Lord of the Rings people. Yeah, me too. It means I've got a nice multi-group mm. fight. Not that any of them have decided to help me with this last one. Oh no, sorry, that last one. Oh, he's a dragon overlord. Oh, he thinks he can shout at me, does he? <laughs> Screw you, you bastard. He's dead. Shout at me, I'll shout at you. And so I did. Oh, he's got a good sword. It's better than mine, but it's a great sword rather than a... Well, it's not a good sword. It's a great sword, isn't it? But like, if you yeah. if I do that, a it's going to be way too much. I have to drop some stuff. But also, <clears throat> it's a two-handed weapon, which means I can't use my shield. I don't get on well with two-handed weapons. I much prefer to have a shield and a one-hander. So we're going to leave it behind. Yes, there's an argument for we could take it and disenchant it and all that kind of crap. So actually, I am going to do it. But. I'm undenied about it. We need to dump some shit with him. Well, it's probably too, too heavy. So what? What can we dump on him? No, no, no. That's not worth it. Okay, what other shitty weapons have we got? Yeah, so we don't need the axe of white one, but we might as well keep it because it's. What books? Have we got any books? Can you use a staff? Right. I think maybe. Okay, I've just read them, I think. I'll dump them on him. I've just read them, okay. They don't weigh anything, that's his that we've just dropped. Uh, arrows don't weigh anything, that's the one we'll be using. So you I'll do that. There we go, that's better. Oh, shut up, Legolas, you wood elf bastard. He's Legolas of the Woodland Realm. Yeah, the wood elf. Not at all like the stone elves of the mines of Dwarveness. So anyway, we'll head through. And what, lo and behold, that looks suspicious up there, doesn't it? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, it does. That looks like it's going to shoot arrows. Do you know how we know that it's going to do something? Because there's holes in the thing. There's a tripwire right there. If we open it, it's going to do the thing. Uh -oh. Can't, I don't know if you can see it behind the shield. Well, it's hard to see. I was, I was trying to move the shield out of the way, but it's not letting me. So mm. we're going to stand to the side. Take that, that, that. Oh, that is better than ours. Is it better than ours? Seven. Yeah, it's better than ours. So we'll take that one. Oh, fuck's sake. What have I done? Have you fucked it? No, I don't think so. It doesn't look like we're carrying all these bloody bones still. There we go. We didn't want... There we go. I thought I had dropped the axe that we didn't need anymore, but I didn't. No, not the axe, the um, <sighs> bow. No, be old. Look, there's another word on the wall. If we learned. 
Times Piece. Can't remember what that one does. If you saw, thingy. So, all in all, we're doing quite well on the old uh, stuff. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, we're doing okay. I mean, not if we were trying to, like, I don't know, speed run. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we've talked about that before. I don't really understand the point of it. No, I'm not really a speedrun fan. It's so interesting sometimes. <sighs> I mean, it's like mm. a measure of knowledge about the game. So, all the thing, the thing about all of these bloody chambers and dungeons and mm -hmm. all that is that at the end of it, there's a shortcut out. Right. So you open the chamber, like moves the rock out of the way, follow this little tunnel, and it'll take us out somewhere near the entrance. Do you remember what was special about this in the first place, this place? Was it under a river or something? It was haunted by that bloke. Oh yeah, that. Who was pretending to, to haunt it. Are we actually going to encounter a ghost? And this is the room that he was in when we... Well, that's where we killed him. Yeah. The secret exit was literally on the room, in, in, through right a doorway, right him. behind his desk where he'd put his, put his, his yeah. journal. Like, mm -hmm. how, that's how close he was what? to finding it. Well, he never would have opened it. Well, no, but it's like, he was so close to it. It's a, it's just a funny little thing, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah. It probably, yeah. probably counts as irony. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does, yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Make some potions because we can sell potions quite nicely when we get to a place where we can sell. So I'm guessing you're not hard up on on health. Oh god, no, we're doing all right. Okay. Why? Well, the games we don't really use a lot of potions. I mean, you can do. But do you find yourself needing to? Is what I mean. I don't, as a rule. Uh. But I'm, you know, I use a shield and I dodge and I've got all these companions mm. and. I often cheat if I'm playing by myself because, you know, like proper cheat, I'll just put God Mode on and shit like that. That's fun. Yeah, it can be. What time of day is it? 2 a.m. Alright then, so how long have we been going? Uh, oh god, only 30 minutes. Yeah, keep going. Feels a lot, lo a lot longer than 30 minutes. Oh, maybe not a lot longer, but it does feel longer than. So I propose that we take a walk to River Run. Not River Run. Um, Rivendell. No. White Run, that's it. Uh, because yeah. we'll be able to sell some crap to Balthazar there. I think that's his name. Lucky Balthazar. <clears throat> He's a smarmy bastard. There's wolves. Death hounds. Never bumped into them before. <laughs> I've literally never bumped into a death hand before. Oh. I forgot I might actually have a connections round. Oh my god. I know, right? Master Vampire? <coughs> Master Vampire? What? Vampire. There's a vampire bloke. And? Is that good? Of course he's a vampire bloke. Okay, why is, it no why is it noteworthy? Because he attacked us. Okay. Are they rare? I mean, he's rare enough. For fuck's sake, what am I doing? Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, fucked it up. There we go. Better. Well, it better not be true for your sake, eh, mate? So, we now got to... A... 
Uh, okay. I haven't written this down. I was sort of throwing it together as I went along. If I say, uh, Peter Sellers. Yep. Ringo Starr. Yep. There's two. Were they the last people to be introduced to famous groups? No. Okay. Good guess. Um, um, were they all born the same year? No. Were they the least popular member of their respective groups? <laughs> uh, maybe. Would you like another one? Yeah, well, I mean, normally we do three, don't we, before we do. Well, yeah, I'm, this is very early stages of this. Planning. I needed to get a list together. Um, Charlie Sheen. Okay. Um, and uh, Pierce Brosnan. They um, left briefly to pursue their own solo work and realised they were better off not doing. Which is doubtful for Pierce Brosnan because he became James Bond. But I suppose it's not really done a massive amount of anything else of substance other than Mamma Mia since then, and even that's debatable. Uh. No. Okay. Um, Jill St. John. No, not Jill St. John. Hang on. Robert Wagner. And... Uh, let me see if I can find and scare up another one very, very quick. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What? Uh, they all had something to do with James Bond. Not necessarily. Was it, wasn't, wasn't Peter Sellers the... Did, was it him who played him in the one that isn't really a James Bond film? That, I think that was Day, Casino Royal 1967. Yeah, I think it was David Niven, but I think Peter Sellers was involved somehow. No, wasn't it like a comedy one or something, a silly one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I that's think, what I mean. Oh, okay. I think my ID was, yeah, I, I, I've got it. My ID was connected at least. Well, it is Bond related. Okay, have they all done Bond themes in some way, off the book? No, they are all. They've all had. Um, they're all. They their connection is that they are connected with somebody. Did it, have they all met Ian Fleming? No. Not one person. It's, it, they're each connected with a different person who falls into a certain category. Okay. Are they all? Are they all connected to a Bond girl in some way? Yeah. Have they all married a Bond girl? Yeah. Okay. Well, married or dated. Yeah. I know. Fuck so Peter right Sellers. Do you know who Peter Sellers was married to? Not a clue. Brett Eklund. He was uh, Mary Goodnight in The Man with the Golden Gun. And she had a good night or two, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite. Um, Charlie Sheen, I think he was married to Denise Richards, who was, yes, she was, who was in uh, The World Is Not Enough. Oh, I don't know about you, but I do not like the look of this. Go on, risk it. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can what else did I say? Remember who else I said? Not off the top of my head. Oh, Pierce, Pierce Brosnan was married to Cassandra Harris, who played Countess Liesel, Liesel von Schlaff. Do you, do, you think, the minor. do you think the person who was on here was hoping for a um, Predator-style combat fight sequence between me and them? Maybe, yeah. I'm the Predator in this circumstance, and that makes me feel sad, because I'm the good guy. Well, um, he, Cassandra Harris was in uh, a few hours only briefly. Um, oh, Ringo Starr. Do you know who Ringo Starr's married to? I'd know her name if you said it, but I can't think who it is. Barbara Back. No, I wouldn't have got that, actually. Uh, who, uh, who was in uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. Oh. And Robert Wagner, believe it or not, I almost gave the game away. He's married to Jill St. John, who yeah, was in Diamonds of Forever. I, I absolutely knew that she was a Bond girl. You nearly gave the game away completely there, didn't you? Oh, you silly sausage. That's silly sausage, not silly hostage. Just before we... You won. 
Oh, it's always gone. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. I've sort of left the path. I don't want to go there and be like Macy's close. Hamish or Hamlet or whatever. Hamplas. Hamish. It's, it, I'm, I, you, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna level you. It's something silly what? like that. And there's a bloke or his family or whatever. And it's, it's, it's there, I'm sure it's got ham in it. Mm. Hilgrens, not ham. Maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe the bloke's ham. Where is he? There's someone in there somewhere. Maybe my right inside, I'm not going to bother. Because <clears throat> it's going to slow us down on our journey to Whiterun. Ah, Bond girls. Who's your favourite Bond girl? I like the one... F I like Kara from The Living Daylights because she's not... They do this thing repeatedly where they have like one who's also a secret agent mm. and they make her out to be the coolest thing ever. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Kara's just a cellist. Oh. She is completely out of the fucking depth. Um, there's a, I like um, Natalia from GoldenEye too. For that the much the same reason. You don't have much um, experience of, of the Bond films at all. Not really. I've mo I've my most most of my experiences would be uh, Brosnan films. And through through uh, Goldeneye the video game, no doubt. Well, I mean, no. I've, I mean, I've watched. I played The World Is Not Enough. I've watched The World Is Not Enough, and I watched uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. But it, my experience is mostly Goldeneye. Tomorrow Never Dies, and then The World Is Not Enough. I don't know. Did he have a fourth one? Yeah, Die Another Day, which oh. was widely regarded. God, it is one of the worst ones. I forgot about Die Another which Day. Which it is. Die Another Day is, is pretty shit. Which incidentally starred Toby Stevens as a Bond villain, whose mother was... A Bond villain. Girl. Maggie Smith. Was it really? Yeah. Right. Sure as a fan, though, doesn't it? Why is there mostly naked bandit here? What? Look at that bum! Pervert, they're dead, much. you know. They're dead. Checking out their yeah. bum. Freak. What about this Lana Del Rey stuff? She got married, apparently, secretly, because that's what people do these days. It's not a big deal, mm. I don't really care. Why do, why do you? Oh my god, we're carrying too much. We picked up some cotton and now we're carrying too much. Alright, I'll stop then, Jesus. No, seriously, though, why do you care? Well, I just... I. He seems so, you know, going somewhere in life and he's just an alligator tour guide. He's a bit pudgy and like Donald Trump. People are entitled to their politics? And if she has fallen for this man because of his other character traits, then so be it. Mm. Apparently, she tweeted something from a few years back about being support uh, about having had a good time on the tour with him or whatever. This implies that he's good mm -hmm. at his job at the very least. And if that's the case, you know, maybe he, he left an impression and yeah. they just fell for one another. It happens. Yeah. I don't know what what he could possibly see in in. Probably, presumably at this point, multi-millionaire, uh, young, probably attractive pop star, Lana Del Rey. Mm. But, um, you know, clearly she sees something in him. <coughs> Always a hostage situation. What the fuck is that? Well, it's, a, it's an umbrella, obviously. Looks like Mary Poppins. Died here. That's a glitch. It looks like a floating shield and a staff. Um, could you hear the horns going just then? No. No, I can hear horns going. Do you know why there's horns going? Um. Is there a battle? Uh, no. Uh, because they're real life horns. Oh, him. Oh, what do you mean, like a? 
like car a, horns. Like car horns, yeah. No. There's car horns going off. There's something else flying up there as well. Like a sword. Okay, fair enough. Um, because there is a... Uh, there's a strike going on just across the river from me. Oh, lovely. Uh, a food factory just across the way is uh, is striking. Some of the staff are striking. And uh, apparently it's one of the only sites... Apparently this, this place has got 21 different sites and it's the only site where there's strikes going on. Um, but they've got Unite there and all sorts and people are oh. beeping as they go by. And I know that people are beeping as they go by because A, I can hear it, and B, I did it myself. Hooray good. for strike action. Oh, there we are, there we are, look at them. Good, good, good. I don't need anything adventurer. Well, she's on her way somewhere. Is that right? In a rush. No, I want you to back off. There you go. Hey, that's going as well, look. You, you, what is going on? What is it? It's, it's a that's, rake. A, that's a giant's club. But this giant. Up. Got, I know it's, it's a club. It's a weapon that he had. Why is the giant there? Oh, because he was he was here. He was being attacked. We helped kill him. Like episode one, episode two. Oh. On our way to the city. Then we helped out Cicero. And then we went and talked to the boat. So we met we, we met that clown fella that you weren't too keen on. Oh yeah, that dickhead. Yeah, well, just before we went to him, we helped kill that giant. Oh, hang on, these guys trade. Take a look. Lovely, lovely. What can we sell to him? He hasn't got a lot of money. Uh, never mind. Let's sell some gems. Them. Have we got anything here that you can buy? There we go. Oh, thank you. Antonio Banderas. Mm, how much are going to cost us? There we go. The sneaky bastards. Hooray for money. How much have we got? Still three and a half grand. And we've cleared up a bit of space in our inventory, which is helpful. But we're still going to clear up some more, Ben. Joy. I mean, it is good. It's helpful. This is a fancy looking gaff. What is? This place you're in now. You mean White Run? Yeah. We've been here before. Have we? Yeah. Right. Tell me where was that bloke sat on the chair? Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's here. Right. Up in the castle, up on the hill, doing his Borat impression. Not really a Borat impression. The Drunken Huntsman. Which is always a place I always forget about. Oh, that's the there. Sure, you don't, mate. Why would you want to know what we're hunting? Of your, your face. No, we don't want to do that. What can we buy off him? What bows has he got? It's not arrows, arrows. Orcish arrows, steel arrows, iron arrows. No. Oh, that could be handy, but we're not going to do it. Never He's mind. a spear. I wouldn't. But could you? I think so, maybe, if there was one. I could do it. No, she's a thingy. Spear's not really my kind of weapon. Oh, it's to a farm. Right, what can we sell to him? 
Oh, not sure chocolate. Oh, he's ba he's basically a skin. <laughs> he's got less money than we have. Did the wordle in two. Well done. It was brain. <laughs> I bet I can do it in one. Curious why he's selling the thing. Oh well. <clears throat> we can buy this place eventually as well. Bree's home. Oh yeah, you can get a little house. You can get married, can't you? You can. And you can have kids, but not proper kids. You can just adopt them, including. <laughs> but that's that's still good. No, that's but still like. Yeah, but like you can't. You can't. Biological. Yeah. You can't fuck your wife and get a kid from her. You've got to, you know, adopt. But we, who's got time to adopt when you got a fellowship to run? Da, 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 da. I don't know where they are. They're hiding. Maybe it's because of the time of day. It's so early still. Are you familiar with Thieves' Cant? Yes, that's the, the language of the thieves in D&D. &D. It's also a general... It's, a, it's like a proper thing as well. Um, do you know that that symbol there is an example of thieves' cant? What do you yeah. think it means? Um, no salespeople, please. On the contrary, it means that this guy is a fence. Oh, <laughs> is it just? Oh, right. That's cool. Um, I got a reply from the person, one of the people we're playing with tomorrow. Oh yeah, is it going on? Yeah, she says, um, yes, we're still on, but the guy is, is she's, uh, who's coming with her is still really sick, so he might not, and he might not be on the mic because his voice will be fucked up. Oh, wait, it doesn't stop you. I was, look, I was very brave that time I was sick. No, it doesn't I stop really you. Well. Your, your voice being fucked up doesn't stop you from... What's wrong with my voice? I think you know what's wrong with your voice, man. <laughs> he turned into Laszlo ish. Laszlo from what we do in the shadows. What the fuck? <laughs> I, forgot call, I forgot we called him Horatio for Gumsler. <laughs> I just see it in the, in the bottom. <laughs> yes, I, I remember sometimes when I see it. Mm, we'll keep that. We don't need that anymore. Right, let's clear up a bit of space. Can we read his books? Oh, God. We said three, right, didn't we? Three. Yeah, well, you did. You told me three o'clock. Okay. Well, I'm just clarifying times with it. So, yeah, we should be alright. I mean, if it, well, if it needs to be earlier or later, it's fine. I just, I, know, I need to know so I can be around, you know? I know, I do too. <clears throat> I am like the one so, person that has no involvement in that when it, when it actually happens. It seems. I just sort of... I, I, it's difficult to nail down times with people. And there was somebody else trying to talk as well, which just made it annoying. Oh my God, Jordan. Yeah, well, you know, I heard he's good. He looks a bit like Christopher Eccleston if he got punched in the face. He does a little. Not that we want Christopher Eccleston to be punched in the face because he's great. Yeah, exactly. Has he got anything of value to us? Probably not, but it's worth having a look. I like to imagine that this is Horatio von Kumsler several thousand years before the events of Vampire the Masquerade, before he was turned. Well, you mean we could become a vampire as part of playing, if we wanted to. Yeah. We, well, we, could, we could make it happen. Maybe that's how this series will end. End? End? And then we'll... This series will never just end. Kidding? You're just doing this forever now, are you? It's all Skyrim, all the time. <laughs> right, I can get like four hours out of, or four, four hours? I can get like 400 uh, videos. videos out of Hitman. I'm not going to do Skyrim all the time. We'll do the, the main Hitman, story line and then we'll see yeah, what happens. Doing it. <clears throat> Thinking about Skyrim is one of those that we can just come back to. Everyone knows Skyrim. It's what you do with Skyrim. It's you start playing it, you give up for a while, and you come back to it. Well, if you're sure. I know what I'm doing, matey.
You are dead. Alright, calm down, Falanga. I've got shit I need to do, mate. Pardon me. It's not what we want to do anyway. He's useless. Who? Uh, well, she's yeah, she's not very good at replying to messages. No, people tend to not be. You are. You're. I'm spoiled with you. You are. Every bloody day, quick, quick as clockwork. Whatever you do, and I'll get a reply back within the hour. Unless I'm in the office. Even then. Well, I mean, just because you you happen to be. It's you have to message at a time when I can, in fact, reply back. But, like, generally speaking, if I'm not... Either I'm in the office or I'm at home. I've... 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 Go on. I'm having a look and trying to work out whether we want to... Yeah, because that's a two-handed weapon and I don't like doing them. Orchid spray. What can we do with the orchid spray? not a lot of charges, is it? You do one extra damage, but 58 times. But it is a bow, so I suppose you do that, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. What do we want to call this orcish bow? Bow of... Yeah. Well, why didn't it? There we go. The fuck are you talking about? Mm. But anyway, yeah, well, he's got shit to tell us as well. What have you got for sale? He's always so, some savage shit. Very, very sad story here. There's uh, been a guy who um, who murdered his wife and then took his own life after receiving a massive tax bill. Okay. And planned to move to Thailand. I think it's noteworthy to me the way he did it. Uh, he he beat her to death and then strangled her. Oh Jesus! He found a very bloody way. You couldn't. I don't know. Poisoner? Carbon monoxide? Yeah. I don't know, some sort of... I don't know, there's got to... It seems a... It's a long thing to do, you, you know. Strangling someone takes like th three minutes thereabouts and it feels longer when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Apparently. Oh, it would, absolutely. Mm. Everything always feels longer whilst you're doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Such is the way of life. Mm -hmm. Ah, there is something we could we could a quest we could start, but it's a real pain in the ass quest. Okay. It's called the Stones of Baron Zaya. Lovely. Well, you say that now, you don't know what the quest entails. Frustrating. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Pressing. I'm just going to read all these books quick. Um, you need to collect a load of stones, basically, from across the map. And then you get a crown afterwards at the end. But it's a bit. Reminds me a little, reminds me a little bit of that old school RuneScape quest where you need to collect the different colour beads. Yes, those four of all beads. They're yeah. dropped by the imps. That's a crappy quest, that is. I love old school RuneScape. It's not just an old school. It's in uh, OS3 as well. Uh, you know, I haven't played RuneScape in like since like June. Da, da, da. Do, do. Do, 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 I'm ready. Maybe not. School. No, I just lost interest in it. 
Yeah, I sort of had that problem. I stopped playing a few good few years ago. I got really into it for a bit. Hmm. When I was an island. I played a good where? What's that Gandalf? Freaking you out. Alduin is real. Of course he is. We've seen him. Some of these books give you scale increases. Give you what, sorry? Skill increases. So I'll, oh, level right. I'll level you up in some stuff. I know there's a stone around here somewhere. Is it in the next room? There it is. Take the usual gem. Now we need to get it to an appraiser, blah blah blah. Yes, thank you. Do we want to? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, I don't lick no boots. Not unless I pay for your privilege. Tee hee. <laughs> Oops. Do, 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 do. That's it. So we have to find Red Eagle's sword, because I don't think that's too far away. Or maybe it is. Maybe that's the one over in the reach. I can't remember. I don't want to walk too far because we've been going it for an hour now. You can get uh, at least a couple more minutes out of it. Oh, it's, it's the one over in the reach. Tell you what, we'll head over to Rorix then and see how we're doing. We don't want to go too far. We don't want to do too much. And the reach is a pain in the ass. It's tough to navigate. Hmm. And we don't want to go to Morphal because if we go to Morphal, we'll end up getting arrested. That's what happens if you get a morphine, you end up getting arrested. What happens if you get arrested? Well, you have to fight your way out and get your stuff back. It's a pain in the ass. It's a, it's a quest that involves you getting arrested rather than you'd investigate some sort of murder and then next thing you know. What's this fella? Just a bloke. Sounds amusing. Oh shit. That's a. Uh... Well, I think you end up, uh, as part of it, you, you can explore um, a Daedric realm as well. And you, you get like some bloke's mace. Mm. It's, it's, so, so some of the quests are a bit meh. As they get to be, because there's a lot of them. <coughs> there's one where we can drink with a bloke and then wake up halfway across the map and we try and piece together what the hell happened. I can't remember where we bump into him in the first place. And at the end of it, it was a big old fight. What's wrong with a big old fight? That's sometimes quite fun. Yeah, it can be quite fun, but the rest of it. Do you remember um, the old school RuneScape quest, um, One Small Favour? Oh, I love that. Well, I never played it, but I love the idea of it. Yeah, well, it's a bit, like, uh, it's a bit like that, but with less you, satisfaction. Well, you were. You, uh, you're asked to do one small favour for somebody, and the person who can give you the item for that wants something. The person who can give you the item for that wants something, and so on and so on. And you just end up going and this whole big thing to fulfil everybody's favours. And then I, I would imagine when you finish for the guy, he asked what took you so long. I can't remember. Probably. It's a very long, tedious happened. quest. And it's famously long and tedious. It's not fun. Anyone who thinks it's fun is a sociopath. Heck, maybe even a psychopath. Yeah, he wants some red mahogany logs from a forester. Uh, but I think you need an axe. And the guy who wants to give you... Who might sharpen your axe 
makes you do something and then you gotta do this and that and this and that and this and that and the last person you have to go and see so you can get the chain sorted out uh, it doesn't have any closure he's just happy to do it if I remember correctly but you go into a little rant about how oh do you need me to do this do you need me to do that it's like, no just here you go We're going to avoid getting into a fight with them. Because they're already in a fight over there anyway. What do we reckon? Are we just travellers? I reckon we're just travellers. Farmer. Farmers. I was wrong. Let's all laugh as industry. That never learns anything to you. Oh, look at this. This would be a lovely hot spring. Yeah, I mean, it be tidying up a bit. But everything needs tidying up. Some things are just fine as they are, thank you. Just like me. Oh, I have had a shave. Strictly speaking, didn't need it, but it seems sensible to have one. Well, make sure you're dressed up all nice for Wednesday. Well... This is the thing I'll be staying dressed for long to be all things considered. Make sure you're clean. Have a shower that morning. Oh, I absolutely will be scrubbed up <laughs> nice. Make sure your hair's all smart. Oh, I don't know about that. There's not an awful lot of hair to get smart. So, yes. Yes. All things to be nervous about. Oh, look. He's got a cow. He's got a tattooed cow. He's going to sacrifice it to a giant. Right. Because religion. Ugh. Up, up, uh, let's run down this road for a little while. It's a castle over there. Well, there's a hill here. Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Yeah, we don't want to go up there, we want to... West, then we want to take the next right. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, Mr. Fox. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> I'm not hitting it again, I don't think. Biggie. Did she wait till we get to solitude? That's such a fancy place. Is it? Comparatively. So that's the sort of place I'd quite like to live in. Yeah, like you could afford it. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Right, is that wolf coming for us now? Hack his head off. Job done. Uh, I don't know where everyone else has gone. There we go. Lovely job done. How much you going to a fight? Yeah, we'll head over to Rowick's head. It's not too far away from here. Lovely stuff. And then we'll call it. And then next time we will start on the hunt for a red evil sword. Mm. Oh. Oh, I get to put those lovely Star Trek disc plate things you got me up you know, when I move. You're looking forward to it? Yeah. You know where you'll put them? No, I'll have to figure it out. That's I've right. only seen the house once. Which is not advisable. <laughs> we would have gone a second time, but we had to cancel. Because of the election, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting in the way of that. There was a big old battle here. Where were they? On the left. 
Uh, that looks like a Vigilant of Stender. An adventurer. Just adventurer. Yeah, never mind. Mm. There's a big old battle here and there's a monument to it. Cool. It's like a history in Skyrim. If you can be asked to read it. I bet. I mean, people who l people really do seem to love this game. It's it's one of those games that I hear talked about a lot. Mm. Oh, it's because there's a lot to it, even now. Mm. You know, and when they added fishing. Oh my god! I know. Even though you could just swim in the water and catch a fish with your hands, mm. like a bear. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. what they do, isn't it? Well, yeah. Just so you know, you see that place there? Yeah. That is where we started. <laughs> That's the mountain we were up. Made good progress then. Oh, you know. It's a windy road, isn't it? But the road goes over on and on. Oh my god, there's a giant. Mm -hmm. Is that a uh, reference to Paul Bunyan? What, the giant? When he's walking wrong with an axe and a cow. It's a club. And uh, no, they just like having cows. Right. I think it might be a Paul Bunyan thing. I shouldn't think it is. Why? He hasn't... This is a, this is assault. He would have attacked us the minute he saw us. You don't know that. We're going to take his toe. Is it... Is that like an aphrodisiac in Chinese culture or something? Uh, Not that it is. Probably. More importantly, it um, is an ingredient in <laughs> some sort of spell, potion thing we can do. You're going to kill the cow as well? Why not? You're a fucking prick. Yeah, but it's increased my heavy armour skill. Ugh. We might be going to lose it. Won't really matter. Look, giants attack people. That mm. other giant corpse we saw, it was we, that only died because it was attacking a village, a farm. We are... That's, that's racial profiling. Yeah, and you know what? It, in this case, it's a good idea we did do it. <laughs> he was walking down the street with an offensive weapon. He it's a good job. Mind his own business. It's a good job that our, our small posse our lynch mob. The bloody... <laughs> the bloody cop. Well, wow. He was minding his business and... You, you told him to stop resisting arrest. But he didn't. So you killed him. Well, he should, have, he's, 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 he should have stopped resisting arrest then. Um, uh. the, um, the benefit of having killed him is that he dropped a mammoth tusk. And back in, uh, back in Whiterun, there was a woman who wants a mammoth tusk so that she can sell it and become a... Respectable trader. Mm. Why she can't get her own fucking mammoth tusk, I don't know. But yeah, she's a lazy bitch. Could well be. Right, yo, so yeah, we've made it to Rorik's Dead. Nothing fancy here, to be honest with you. Just a tavern and a place. And a can't go, but well, it looks cosy enough, I suppose. Yeah. The typical, suppose. you know, early Dark Ages settlement, I suppose. Medieval, Iron Age, Bronze Age. You can buy, apparently, um, the, the, uh, the place called Heljargen, or Heljargen Farm. Oh, well, speaking from experience, that shit takes ages. Now nah, we only need about seven grand, then we can just buy it. Not just handing over money, you got to get a survey done. You know, you gotta, you got to check all this stuff. We need and if there's a chain, God help you, you'll be waiting for ages. We need about seven grand, and then we can buy it. And lo and behold, we have nearly got seven grand. So maybe by the time we get round to, you know, by the time we get back to Whiterun, we'll be able to just buy the damn thing. Right, right. And we want to have our own farm, because that is exactly what the Dragonborn needs to help them on their quest to kill all the dragons. Remember that, Ben? The quest to kill all the dragons. Yes. Anywho. What? Hang on. <laughs> all of them? Yes. Why not? That's, that's horrible. Well, they're dangerous. 
Don't you want to keep a small breeding population in a zoo somewhere or something? I'm going to level with you. I've only said, oh. made a point of saying kill all the dragons because of an upcoming plot twist. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. There's only one left. Anywho, thank you for joining us, everybody. <laughs> bye. Which you didn't do, but bye anyway. Thank you. No, of course you fucking didn't. No, they never do. Hello, future me. Yeah, because no one else is going to fucking watch us. Even me. Yeah. Bye. Bye.